Millions of Americans are currently casting ballots on one of the most important dates on the U.S. political calendar, Super Tuesday. Voters from 15 states and one territory are selecting who they want as their presidential candidate for November. It seems most likely that President Joe Biden will have a rematch with Republican lead Donald Trump. Che min -jong reports. March 5th is Super Tuesday over in the U.S., the biggest day of the 2024 presidential primaries or caucuses. Projected results are rolling in as President Joe Biden and his predecessor Donald Trump dominate the Democrat and Republican contests. I think we really need somebody, a super strong figure in the White House um, um, for international relations. He's a fraudster. He's been accused of sexually abusing a woman and found guilty of that. He's got over half a billion dollars worth of fines and penalties. According to AP projections, both Biden and Trump are expected to win their respective primaries in Texas, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Oklahoma. Meanwhile, Trump's only rival in the Republican nomination race, former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley, is widely expected to drop out of the race with defeat to the former president, Lou Mei. Super Tuesday usually offers a glimpse into which candidates will run in the final race for the White House. But as the projections show, there's much less suspense this year. Tuesday's results are only likely to intensify the rivalry between Biden and Trump as they head towards a rematch in the general elections in November. On Super Tuesday, voters from 15 states and one U.S. territory are choosing their presidential candidate, with the largest number of states voting on the same day in the presidential primary calendar. California and Texas, the most populous states in the U.S., are among the 15 holding the nominating contests. Over a third of the total delegates, which are awarded to the most popular Republican and Democratic candidates, are up for grabs. Meanwhile, on the big day, Facebook, Instagram and other meta platforms suffered an outage, spanning multiple countries, including the U.S., the U.K. and Canada. Che Min-jong, Arirang News.